Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I figured we'd do a whole makeup collection and reorganize my entire makeup storage. Because I am running out of space. I did declare a few products out of my collection. And they were the um, BH Cosmetics palette. Because I have not been using it. I declared that. I declared both my e.l.f. palettes that I had. It was a Nude Mood and Summer Breeze. And then I decluttered the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cover and Zone. Because I was not using them. I kept reaching for all the other stuff out of my collection before I even bought any more makeup this year. Anyways. Oh yeah. And then I decluttered two mini mascaras that were possibly expired or smelled weird or dried out. And they were both smell bad and they dried out. So I got rid of like six things in my whole eye category. But my collection right next to me over is exploded. But I figured why don't we do a whole what's in my makeup collection video slash reorganize my cubbies and we'll put them back together. Are you ready? Let's hop in. So, my two Anastasia palettes. I'm going to get closer so you guys can see me. I have two Anastasia palettes. I am going to get the new one that just came out. That Curly Bible palette. I'm going to have my babe get it for me on Thursday. He knows. It's on his little Ultilis I gave him. So, I have Soft Glam. Mine is well loved. And then, I also have Modern Renaissance. This is my favorite. This is like the first high end I got. I love this one too. Like the other high end one I have is na the Urban Decay Naked palette. But that's why I went with the e.l.f. ones. But they were not that good as the Naked palette. So that's why I decluttered both of them. Okay. Let's get into other palettes. I don't know why I put them back in containers. Just maybe because I wanted to clear the space out. To be honest, I kind of don't know if I want the sleeves anymore. So, maybe I don't. So, I might put the sleeves back into the container my drawers. Like, I always had them. So, I might do that. But, this is my Tarla Tosa palette. I love this palette. I always use this around September through November. All just because it's a warm toned palette. Something I reach for all the time. I did hit pan on one shade. The other two I showed you, there's a lot I hit pan on. Um, let's keep going. Donny Cosmetics. Sweater weather. I love this palette. It's so cute. It's my travel. This will be my travel palette for the year. Definitely. Um, speaking of Donny Cosmetics, I just heard she's coming out with something. In two weeks from this Friday. And I don't know what it is yet. And I'm excited. I think it's a part two of the latte palette. I don't know why I have the sleeves on though. I might just get rid of them. <laughs> just because I organized my whole makeup drawer right there. And yeah. Like this palette is so well loved. If you guys can tell. And like hello. This one's been well loved. Like. This is like the first thing I got from her line. Definitely. I need to start organizing soon, but we will once I go through the whole collection. And then I'll tell my, my computer this way so it can be right over there, you know? Okay. This is the Bears and Cream palette. Another sleeve. I think I did that so I can do a video. So this is the Bears and Cream palette. Mine does not. Mine is kind of getting well loved. I've seen because like, there's a couple of dents and two shades. Wow. Well, there are some more Dominique Cosmetics into the bin. I'm just going through to get to it. This is the um, Rustic Glam. I love this. I, like, I got this around the summertime. So this one's still pretty new. I always hit pan in the... Um, she shade all the time. I don't know how I do that. And I gotta hurry because it's like 2.38 and I need to get ready for work. So I need to go through this video hella fast and upload her to the gal or the, my channel. Alright, 
So, let's see your storm. I'll tell you what's on my face in a minute, because I just did my makeup for work. I love it. I love this palette. Like, this will be my pop of color palette if I need something. Just look how gorgeous this is. Ugh. So, okay. Let's go through some stuff that's old and I can plot down. So, my two face pat. My two powders, my Milani Conceal Perfect in shade 1, and my Cody Aerospine, which is in the shade Translucent Extra and the mixture of the regular Translucent. I do want to start organizing. It's just going to be hard to do this because everything's on the floor. I, I think we made it work. Okay, so I just gotta readjust everything together. Steal the storage. Alright, because I had to remove my clear bin that was on top of the um, storage containers to get to what I'm doing. So, a couple more face pad palette products. My Milani highlighter. I absolutely love this. Is what's on my nose. You can see it's like a little fainted, but it's the shade Afterglow. I love this highlighter. I always use it in my inner corner as well. I put this into the drawer I use. I love this bronzer from Physicians Formula. I will use this sometimes as an eyeshadow crease or bronze. Now let's go into NARS because I only got two things from NARS. I have full size of Laguna. I like this bronzer, guys. I want to get more into NARS because it's a French brand. And then I do want a full size of NARS. NARS is our orgasm blush. Like, this is such a sample. Like, I could use this as an eyeshadow if I wanted to. And I can adjust my sit then because we're recording. Um. I am trying to get to the other side of this. Correct. Okay, let's go. On the side of San Milani, I have my Amrisi highlighter, guys. This is my fairy highlighter from them forever. I'm never gonna run out of this. Like, it's gonna be in my collection for such a long time. Like, hello, that's so gorgeous. I purchased this myself. And then I got two big Milani blushes in the shades Luminosos and Dulce Pink. Luminosos is supposed to be a dupe to Nars' orgasm. And I'm trying to open them. I'm like running out of time. Well, that's gorgeous. Same with Dulce Pink. Okay. Let's get into some other little things that are newer. So this is a more Pacific Clemson Powder Snoo. Have not used it yet. It goes into my sample drawer that has everything else in it. I just realized the BB cream from the first piece was in there. I forgot about it for a second. It goes just back there with all the backup stuff. As you can see it from Clinique, I had this before. I loved it. I basically don't conceal my face. I normally use it as an eye primer. Alright, you guys know Buxom is my favorite, guys. I was about to buy Dolly the other day at Ulta, but 
I was like, let me use my sample first before I do any of that. Because I don't know if these shades will look good on me. I have the shades Serena, Brandy, and Dolly. Um, as I just said, I use primer for my eyes. I don't do face that much. I have a primer for face, and this is the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. And then I have a CC Cream by Eriaria. I can't pronounce this brand. Please, someone help me pronounce this. I don't know why I'm putting them in the wrong drawer. And then I have my two Smashbox primers. As I said, been saying the last few minutes, I'm not a primer girl. Okay. Okay. My well loved highlight from Winna Wild is that cream stick and the shade When the New Strikes. This is a due to benefits. I love this. Um, my two concealers. This is my backup of my new favorite from Irina K. It's the um, Stay Naked Line. And then I have my Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 10. That's in the shade 10 as well. And then, so someone subject of it, I, concealers. I just got this on Monday from Ulta. It's the It Cosmetics 5 by Under Eye Concealer in the shade 10. Because I, I know my shade so well. I'm fair skin. So that's why I have it in fair. I just use this all over my eyes to get my eyes to be that shimmery. Uh, 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 it's going somewhere. Okay. I have a lot of lip stuff, so I'm going to go through lips last. So, let's talk with Snoop. I finally got the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. My coworker Tiana was supposed to be in charge of getting me the Laura Mercier stuff. It's just a mall she went to, didn't I have it? So I went to Ulta on Monday. I found the display easily. I'm like, eh, coming home with me, honey. And that should be my testing drawer, to be honest, because I'm still testing this bad boy out. And I got lipstick on my hand, but I don't want to make a whip, so I need. No, I do. I gotta have them right by me, guys. Okay. Let's talk about highlighting and palette. I got the Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow. You guys know what this looks like. I've shown it before my channel, guys. It's my favorite. <sighs> Crap. I need to get to the other one. Because I'm on the last set of palettes. So, you guys know I'm starting to collect ColourPop. My first palette from ColourPop was the um, Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I had two shadows in there that, or a shadow in there I did not like. I deposited it out when I got the new one. Like, I deposited that out for the shades I like. I don't think these were the shades I put in there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think I took most of those shades and put them in this. I forget what I did. But I know I deposited that and then this was the first one I got. I got this one from Ulta. This is Sweet Talk palette. I did rearrange this palette, guys. I love this palette. I made this into a warmer tone palette because I love it. My favorite shade is this one that I'm going to swatch. Uh, 
with his wife. I love that. Okay, good. Thank God I'm just going to swatch it once I love this powder effect. So, I have a wet shadow right there I love. And then I got two right there that I love. I was not supposed to go to work until 7 tonight. And I got called in. Like an hour ago saying, can you come in to work for a minute? I'm like... Okay, fine, I'll come in. I'm going to show off the last two Hello Pop palettes afterwards. Because, like, there's some more new stuff in my collection I want to show. I have a Buxom sample. What am I saying, Buxom sample? I have a Buxom single in the shade. Crap. What shade are you? In the shade. Lola Lavish. I still want to make my own cousin palette with him. Alright, oh. And then I do have the California Light So Jada palette. I had to get rid of some of the shades in there. I had to get rid of Topaz and Tiger Eye because they were glitter shadows. Or was it? No, I can't remember. But I know I got rid of some shades in here. But this is what mine is looking like because I use this one a lot. Like there's a big dip in pearl, a big dip, and my precious diamond is my favorite, guys. Like, if I could choose my favorite shade from this palette over the other one, my favorites from this one were Smoky Quartz, this one. I can't remember the shades. I replaced everything. I love this one. I love my beige shade. I love Diamond, Rose Quartz, Pearl, Borite, Moonstone, and then Ruby and Royal Jewels. Those are, like, all my favorites from that palette. I'm going to show off the last two called Pop Palettes last, because they're new. Hey, so we just finally finished that setting spray from Positions Formula. It was such a 24 k care guys. I did not like it. i just been mixing it into with this, and I liked it way much better. This is my all-nighter from Ernie K. I repurchased this one like crazy, guys. And then I just purchased the new one that just came out on. This week, I think, or last week, but I just got this on Monday. It's their new one in the shade, or in this new formula, which is ultra matte. If you guys buy this one, please shake it really well so you don't get white spots on your face. Like, I had to shake it so many times today, so I did not have white spots. Like, I had one in my hair earlier. I had to shake this so well just to get rid of it. I had to apply the regular one on top. Okay. I have a whole thing here of lipsticks, so this is going to be fun. Okay. I got a few gloss. Okay, which we're going to do first. Okay. I have this Milani one in the shade New Shimmer. I am not a big fan of this, guys. I thought I was going to like it. So I have an all cheaper alternative to my Buxom one. But I like my Buxom one way better than this. <sighs> this is my baby. I can't live without it. It's the shade White Russian, guys. I was about to buy like, the whole shelf the other day at Ulta. Because they were stocked up, like, hella good. Like, I could have bought another one, but mine hasn't gone bad yet. So, once we go again, I'll buy another one. Like, this is my cold. Okay. And I have two from I, well, I want to say I Curly. Wow. From the Curly Bible and El Maquillage Club. I have the two and shit. Star Child. And Twilight. I was not able to get my hands on Supernova at all still. So, thanks. And then, um, 
My last lip gloss is the Dominique Cosmetics in the shade Sugar and Space. It looks so good with this little stick too. Like, I might buck some gloss on top. I don't know why I put it away because I need it when I go to work. Okay. Now let's go through liquids. I have a lot of liquid in here, y'all. So, one more gloss. And this is the Mary Kay one. I don't care for this. I just have it. Um. I have so many lip glosses left, or lips, liquid lips. Like, it's crazy. Like, I tried the ones from Anastasia. I was not a big fan of them. But I'll show you the high end one I like. But let's go into drugstores real quick. I love this one from Elle. This is the shade T Rose. Like, I'm just gonna swatch these guys. And why is my phone not charging? That, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that, oh. that has so many Dominique ones. I have this one in Cozy. And then... The rest of my Dominique cosmetics are the shades creamy pink. I have the shade Love Drop. So you, I'll do a lipstick swatches right now. I was going to do the way with the glosses. Ugh. This is Babe. Babe is my favorite, guys. Heartbeat. And then, Gloss Domini Cosmetics is the shade Nude Kiss. I love that one. I think out of those two is Babe and Nude Kiss. I will wear non-stop. I don't wear the reds that much. I wear them during the fall. Christmas time. Like, I just got out of the shower like the last hour. And then all of a sudden work called me in. I'm like, okay, let me see if I could come. Had to call me on. I'm like, hey, can you get home early? Like I called in to go to work at four instead of seven. I'm like, now I gotta work at eight hour chef. I hate working eight hour chefs, y'all. Okay, let's go. I don't like bare mineral minerals. I have a shade in the shade fire. I don't know if I'll wear this yet. I can't give it away. That's the issue. Um, let's talk about my favorites. This replaced my Anastasia obsession. It was Dose of Colors. I have the shades Warm and Fuzzy and Sweet and Sassy. And I have Sweet and Sassy on underneath my box lipstick or lip gloss. Oh, uh, that's me in the shade. And then Warmer Fuzzy is like my other shade I love. Like, hello. My dose of colors just became my favorite right now all of a sudden. I lost my last wipe. Okay. Yikes, and it's already 3 o'clock and I gotta hurry. Oh god. Okay. 
I have three now from ColourPop. They're all the Ultra Mass Sat Lippies. I have the one is Suno de Coco. Oh, I think I pronounced it right. And this is the I Love Sarah Lee collection. That one is Jay Bipa. And then this color, the one from Sarah Lee is new. And then this one is new. This one's in the shade Bumble. Like, it reminds me of the one I just showed you from Dose of Color, so I fear you're, I'm like, I need it. And I need to get my saturation back tomorrow. Like, I need to get my setup back, so give me one minute. I need her. Because once I do this, I can show you the whole pan again. I'm still going, guys. I'm gonna kind of hurry because I need to get ready and go. Okay, let's go through the last lipsticks, and I have no more weight with the waves, but yeah. So I have a whole box of Burst Beats Capsticks now. Um, I have a L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Jumper Noon. I have Rich Ruby. Yes, no, which one this looks like. I use this all the time, so deep, like a cherry red. I had a hurry, so hold on. This is a nude. I have like 20 set, 8 minutes on your eye. This is a Carly Bible Il Maquillage. I don't want to break this. Because oh. this is my last bullet. Mm. Honey Pink. Maybelline. Love it. I know I just got rid of one, I think. And a shade Peach Love. Yeah, I got rid of Peach. No, I have Peach Love. Okay. I have Peach Love. Like, that's disgusting. But it's whatever. I had to hurry. So, hold on. Honey Peach. Naked Coral, Divine Wine, you guys know this one all the time, My Bucks of White Direction, Elf and T Rose, and then two Burst Bees. I hurry. I gotta get ready. <laughs>
plus things, okay? Brow product from Ben. Why do I say benefit? Brow product from Burt's Bees. My, wait, where was my old one? I have an old one of these. Okay. Is this it? No, this looks new. Oh no. I don't know how to sweat. it. No, this is new. Oh no. I can't tell what's new, it's old. How? Alright, this one's old. This one's a nail. I have my L'Oreal Lee Liner. I have this Ulta one. Don't care about it. Eyeliners. I have my Maybelline my, my, Master Precise in black. I have my Precision's Formula in black. I have my It Cosmetics Waterproof one in black. And my Urban Decay one in perversion. My only lip liners. Why do I keep wearing the eyeliner? Two little maquillage in the shades Blaze and Bible. My Jordana's in the shade Nude Pink and Tawny. And then you ready for the last surprise? Okay. okay, guys, this was my big finale. I just added these two to the collection. When I was gone, I got my going coconut palette. I well, as well. I love this palette, guys. I use the shade Shelia in the outer crease. I use Cocoa Crush all over the lid. Oh, so beautiful. And then I use my Bare Necessities palette. This is my Holy Grail palette at the moment. Since I bought it, I did this. I only I went with hot. Did that for the whole crease as well. I used full exertion in the buff as a base, and then I put that in my highlight brow bone. Idle hour is always my inner corner shade, and then silk teddy and the top is on top of Coco Crush. But like, this one's became my new favorite of the year, and I love it, and I gotta get going, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed my new makeup collection, but let me pan you guys real fast, or an uh, overview of my collection real quick, then I gotta go. So right here, I, I had a whole DS. So. Right here is eyeshadows from Dominique. Um, backups, all drugstore brushes. The little ones I got on my face. Um, back to me. Um, lipsticks, concealers, more lips, setting sprays, backup. This is all the stuff I use right here. And this is all new. Alright, guys. I really gotta go. So, I gotta get going, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed my updated collection, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be uploading more when I can. Bye, guys!